الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحبة في الله continue on in our study of Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi Allah يرحمه his treaties هذه دعوتنا وعقيدتنا and we're talking about the love for the companions رضي الله تعالى عن المجمعين and that the Khawarij and the Shia are those who differ, those who have ghalu with regard to them, the Khawarij, that they may take fear of the Muslims for the major sins. And they may take fear of many of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in, saying that they did not rule by what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed. And this is similar to the, to the modern day takfiris. Although they don't make takfir, of course, of the Sahaba, رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين, but regard, but they are so uh, they emphasize the issue of of, of rulership of Allah تبارك وتعالى to such an extent that they don't look at the details that the Sahaba, رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين, and the Salaf of this Ummah, رحمهم الله جميعاً, that they left behind. So therefore, they will say, no one is ruling by Allah's law. Everyone is a disbeliever. This is their the concept of the modern day takfiris, and this is where you see where Ahl Sunnah differs with them uh, tremendously in creed on this particular issue. This is why we refer to them as takfiris because they have no room. The world is purely black and white, but then they fail to mention about and and practice that on themselves as far as them ruling by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala's law. Instead, they bend the law and and bend the Sharia in accordance to their desires. And similar to the original Khawarij who made takfir of the Sahaba they make takfir of those people who are in the uh, position, uh, not just authority, but also the people of knowledge. Because the Sahaba they were the ulama at the time after the Prophet وسلم, they were the one who transmitted the religion. They were the most knowledgeable of the deen. They were there for the revelation. But then you had those individuals who actually made takfir of them. Said, you're not even a legitimate Muslim. Likewise, you have the takfiri and neo khawarij and groups who make takfir of the ulama. Those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Quran and praised and said that they are the people most God-fearing, most God-fearful. In the Akhsha Ibadi al Ulama, the most God fearful people, those who fear Allah the most, is the Ulama, is the scholars. But however, those groups and sects, they spend their time and their attacks upon the Ulama, those closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and may Allah protect us from misguidance and dalal. So, as, as we mentioned, also the Shia Arafida and some other groups, some groups that they make ta'lim of Ahl Bayt, of the, the family of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Radiallahu Ta'ala Anim Ajma'een, they take their love to them to such an extent, their excessiveness and their extre ex being extreme, to such a level, to such an extent, to where some of them have uh, become disbelievers to that, disbelievers in Allah. Similar to the way, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in an authentic hadith, about the uh, the Christians that they and the Prophet said he said and beware of ghulu, beware of extremeness and he referred to in reference to the Christians who say they love Jesus to such an extent that they uh, claim divinity for him that they claim that he is divine that he is God he is God like he is the son of God etc likewise you have those people, some Shia sects, who are to such an, uh, such an uh, they're so extreme 
that they actually believe that Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhum, uh, anhum was either uh, was Allah some of them actually believe that Jibreel والسلام, made a mistake in the revelation so then in the end of their prayer they slap their knees and they say Khan 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 they say that he was he deceived he deceived he deceived as Jibreel they're saying that Jibreel والسلام, was a great wicked shaitan deceiver and that in fact the revelation was supposed to go to Ali anhu, instead of the Prophet now that is the law of folk of the law that is kufr Akbar uh, takes a person out of the middle of militant Islam. That they have went to such an extent, so extreme in their belief, in their ghulu, fiddin. And this shows us that Ahl Sunnah has the middle course. And that's why the Shaykh, Shaykh Muqbil bin Adi al Wadi Allah Yarahum, said, Nuhibu ashaba Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Nuhibu ashaba Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We love the, the, the companions and we hate those who speak about them. And we believe that speaking about them or slandering them is slandering the deen. Because they gave this, they were the ones who transmitted this religion to us. And this is very important. So then he said, and we love Ahlul Bayt, Ahlul Bayt and Nabuwa, the, prof, the Prophet's uh, uh, family. We love them. And then he, he, he said, it's Muqayyid though, Hubbin Shari'iyan. He said, we love them in accordance with the Sharia, not in accordance with our desire. Not, not that we have pictures on our wall, not that we worship them, not we did, that we say they're infallible. No. But we love them in accordance with the Sharia. We give them that uh, makana and status. Some of the narrations with regards to the Sahaba, the Prophet وسلم, said, La Tsubu Ashabi. He said, وسلم, Don't uh, speak ill of my Sahaba or don't curse my Sahaba. Don't vilify my Sahaba. The Prophet وسلم, said, Ayatul Iman, Hubl Ansar, wa Ayatul Nifaq, Bughdal Ansar. Muslim. The Prophet وسلم, said, the sign of a believer, the sign of Iman, of faith, is loving the Ansar. The Ansar were the people of Medina who accepted the Muhajireen from, from, uh, from Mecca. And so the Prophet وسلم, said, a sign of faith is loving the Ansar. And a sign of hypocrisy, which we know is so dangerous, is hating the Ansar. That's one sign of hypocrisy. So that alone is sufficient for us to know that anyone who speaks ill about the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, majma'in, who's not, who hasn't done it out of a mistake, who hasn't done it out of whatever, that they have, they possess a trait of nifaq, of hypocrisy, of being a hypocrite. And if it's hip, hypo, hip, uh, hypocrisy, the major hypocrisy, which takes you out of the fold of Islam, meaning that they show Islam outwardly and they hate Islam inwardly, then this takes a person out of the fold of Islam. They are an apostate, a zand, a zandiq, wa iyadhan billah, min dalika. Wa qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam li abi hurayra radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, alahumma habbab ubaidaka hadha ila kulli mu'min. The Prophet وسلم, said that, and he said this to, uh, to uh, Abi Huraira, he said he made uh, he he said this in the presence of Abu Huraira, and he he made du'a. He said, "Allahumma habbab ubaidika hada ila kulli mu'min, ila kulli mu'min." He said, "O oh Allah, raise you know." Making du'a, supplicating to Allah, because du'a is ibadah. O oh Allah, make every believer love your slave, this one. This one from amongst your slave. And he was talking about Abu Huraira. And we love Abu Huraira. Because he mentioned the most ahadith, he narrated the most ahadith 
of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was close to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, a young boy making ilzab of the, of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who was there memorizing, and Allah favored him to memorize and transmit Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's deen. What a great status. These are clearly signs that Allah loved him. And we love him. Radiallahu ta'ala And notice, Ahabit Tifillah, that the enemies of Islam, from amongst the Orientalists and others, they always, they spend their time attacking who? Abu Huraira. Because if they can cut the ties, or the, they can question the authenticity of Abu Huraira, radiallahu ta'ala then they can question the authenticity of Islam, of Bukhari and Muslim, and Islam completely because Islam is a sunnah and sunnah is, and the sunnah is Islam. So the sunnah, the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was transmitted by who? By the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala ajma'een. And Abu Huraira was at the Rusin. And he was the, you know, Amir Mu'mineen al-Hadith. You know? Radiallahu ta'ala. Wa qawluhu li Ali, qala Ali, رضي الله تعالى عنه والله إنه لأحد رسول الله إلي لا يحبني إلا مؤمن ولا يبغضني إلا المنافق. so Ali ibn Abi Talib رضي الله تعالى عنه he said by Allah verily during the time of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said to me or held this that no one loves me except a believer and no one hates me except a hypocrite. So also again showing us that this is a part of our deen, it's a part of Iman. In another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said to Mu'adh, O oh Mu'adh, Wallahi, verily I love you. And this was narrated in Abu Dawood. So, Ahabatifillah, this is from Iman to love the companions, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. And there's so many, uh, and also to uh, Hassan wa Hussein, radiallahu ta'ala anhum. Allahumma inni ahabbuhuma, fa ahabbuhuma wa ahabba men yuhibbuhuma. The Prophet ﷺ said in another hadith in Wahu uh, uh, Ahmed that about Hassan wa Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, he said, O oh Allah, he made supplication to his Lord, O oh Allah, verily I love those two. And please love, therefore, please love those two. And please love those who love those two. What a beautiful supplication from the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for his companions Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum Ajma'een and they're from Ahl Bayt Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum and there's so many Nasus from the Quran and the Sunnah like the ayah where Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says وَسَابَكُونَ وَسَابَكُونَ الْأَوْلُ مِنَ الْمُهَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنْصَارِ وَالَّذِينَ اَتَّبَوْهُمْ بِأَحْسَانِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ وَرَضِيَ عَنْهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem in Surah Al-Tawbah Then the first from the Muhajireen and the Ansar who we already mentioned, Muhajireen, those coming from Mecca to Medina and the Ansar being Ahla uh, Medina assisting the Muhajireen from Mecca. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالَّذِينَ اَتَّبَعُونَ بِأَحْسَانُ And those who follow them in righteousness. Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Him. This is a sign of Iman. This is the sign of the Mu'mineen is they love the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een they're pleased uh, and, and, and they follow the companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een in the salaf of this ummah in righteousness because the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een they were the salaf of this ummah they were the 
uh, first generation. And the first three generations would be made up of the companions, radiallahu ta'ala majma'een, and the tabi'een, their students, Allah yarhamuhum, and their students, rahimahumullah jami'in. So all of that, that's the, uh, that makes up the salaf of this ummah. When we say we're salafi, we say we follow the salaf, we're talking about the sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala majma'een, and the tabi'een, wa tabi'a tabi'een, those three generations. The Prophet ﷺ said, خَيْرَ النَّاسِ فَرْنِي ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يَلُونُهُمْ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يَلُونُهُمْ The best people is my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. So that's Iman. And Ahl al-Sunnah, as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, وَأَهْلُ السُنَّةِ يَتَّبْ يَتَّبَرَ يَتَّبْ يَتَرَبْ يتر 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 <laughs> that Ahl Sunnah they are free from the path of the Rafid of the uh, Rafid the Shia الَّذِينَ يَبْغُضُونَ الصَّحَابَ وَيُسُبُّونَهُمْ وَطَرِيقَ النَّوَاسِبِ الَّذِينَ يُؤْذُونَ أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ النَّبُوَّةِ بِقَوْلِ وَعَمَلِ uh, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala said that Ahl sunnah they're free from the path, you know, they're far from and free from the path of the Ruwafid, those who hate the companions, radiallahu ta'ala anam ajma'een, and curse them, and also the path of the Nawasib, those who uh, harm the uh, Ahl bayt uh, the Prophet, the, the Ahl al-Bayt of the, the Prophet Sallallahu uh, with their statements and their actions. So you have these wicked sects that deviated so far from the path of Islam with their extremism and their extreme either uh, hatred of the Sahaba or hatred of Ahl al-Bayt or worship of Ahl al-Bayt and other aspects of deviance and where they deviated from Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. There are so many Nasuls which illustrate for this. Some of the statements of the Salaf Qala Abu Zar'a Rahimullah Ta'ala Qal Ida Raita Rajal ينتقص أحد من أصحاب رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فاعلم أنه زنديق وذلك أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم عندنا حق والقرآن حق وإنما أدى إلينا هذا قرآن هذا القرآن والسنن أصحاب رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وَإِنَّمَا يُرِيدُونَ أَنْ يَجْرَحُوا شُهُودَنَا لِيَبْتَلُوا الْكِتَابَ وَالسُنَّةِ وَالْجَرْحِ بِهِمْ أَوْلَى وَهُمْ زَنَادِقَ This is a powerful statement by Abu Zara and there's so many statements of the Salaf but this right here, Yaqfina, this gives you the motive of the Salaf and then we can move on very powerful athar. Let's let's go over it. Either right or rajal yantakis ahad min ashaba rasulillahi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. If you see a man who's belittling the companions of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, then know that he's a zindik. He's a heretic. And that is because the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to us is the truth. You know what he came with was the truth, and the Quran is the truth. And verily. Those who transmitted the Qur'an to us and the Sunan was the companions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And verily those people who speak about them, they want to harm our witness and negate them, declaring them to be false. And falsify the Qur'an and the Sunnah. And they are more befitting to be spoken and criticized. 
and they are the, the zanadika. They are the heretics. This is a powerful effort. That gives us enough right there. That's the mukhif of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And there are countless books in Aqidah written about this, uh, written about these issues. And I think that's sufficient for us on this mas'ala. And we'll continue in our study uh, in the next mas'ala, in the next sitting. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.